So my first rule of Google Earth is always be organized. Let's take a close look at the screen. Google Earth rules, number one, organization of my places. And now I've got another little organizational trick on my sleeve that I wanna show. Now this isn't always what you wanna do, but in some cases, this is the right thing. So in this scenario, what I have is multiple polygons that are the polygon of New York State. And I've got them in different colors, kind of going from a light pink, which in this uh, scenario represents the amount of COVID-19 cases in New York State in February. And then the next polygon, if you watch, I have to uncheck it and then show the, the March COVID-19 cases represented by a slightly darker shade and then so on for April and then so on for May and then the projected cases for June. Now, there's never gonna be a case where I want to turn them all on because then they're just all on top of each other and blend it. So watch what I'm gonna do. This folder right here. Let's take a close look at what we got. We got five polygons inside of it and the, you can turn these off or on with checks or unchecks. Now, I want to edit this. I'm gonna right click on the folder that they all belong to and go to the properties. And I'm gonna click on this little button right here, this little checkbox. It says show contents as options, radio button selection. Activate that, click okay. Now, the contents of my folder aren't boxes that you check or uncheck, they're circles that you dot or undot. Let's take a look. So say I turn on New York, February. And now I wanna turn on March. Watch what, watch what happens when I give a check or a dot to March. It automatically turned off February. And now I can go through and turn these on one at a time. And only that one will be shown. Like I said, this isn't always what you wanna do. But in some cases, you're only gonna to wanna to display one thing at a time and having your folder in radial buttons will allow you to do that. Here's why it's also important, let me explain. You may never do anything in radio buttons. You may not, not understand it yet, that's fine. But when you go out into the Google Earth community and find other people's KMLs, they might be in radio buttons and now you know how they work. But if you don't like those radio buttons, you now know how to change it. So let's say you receive this folder from me. I email it to you. You don't like the radio buttons. Now that you know this, all you have to do is right click properties on the folder and now uncheck this button and now they're back to the squares that you check or uncheck. So now you have the option of using radio buttons or not. Thanks for watching. Map your world.